Hey everybody, in this week's video, we're gonna talk about recessions. Uh, we talked about last week, we talked about the good uh, year-to-date market performance we've had, but one of the things to know is we have been in a expansionary economic environment for quite some time, historically long time, actually. And so it begs the question, is a recession on the horizon and what should we do about it? Um, and so that brings up a lot of research uh, most importantly, SCI did a great research study on is it possible to avoid those recessions, get in the market at the right time, out of the market at the right time, and then back in at the right time. And of course, the results were not in favor of trying to time the market. Uh, this particular research study we're going to include with this email, but they went through thousands of scenarios, possibilities, and tried to come up with even if you got it dead on right did you win in the long term? Now what we mean by long term, you know, most people as an investor, whether you're near retirement, retired, or saving for retirement, long term is, is 20, 30 years because you're an investor that entire time. And so if you try and be a market timer, uh, time these recessions, um, do you win? And so this research study, I think was, was pretty profound in the fact that even if you got it right, you, you didn't win. You didn't actually outperform a disciplined investor. What's a disciplined investor? Well, that involves several things. Number one, understanding your risk tolerance, understanding your goals, and then developing an asset allocation to map towards achieving those goals and staying the course through good and bad times. It doesn't mean you don't make adjustments along the way. We did last September. Uh, you can adjust the asset allocation while still remaining diversified, um, and you should. You should always evaluate that, but trying to time it, get in the right time, out at the right time, typically does not lead to a positive outcome. And honestly, we would call that gambling. Why is that? If you look at the past couple years, um, the word recession for the last couple years is it's been looming, it's been looming, it's gonna happen. Well, in reality, it has not happened yet. The economy's still growing, and there are some signs that it's starting to slow a little bit, but still growing at historically fast rates. And so SEI, for instance, if they were trying to predict it, they put in this research study, they think the recession is, is two years out at, at the earliest. Now, they could be dead wrong, and that's the issue with these things. Even the smartest economists in the world get these things wrong regularly. And so timing it, we don't believe is possible. Now, if you're concerned, what should you do? Well, we should meet. We should talk about your risk tolerance, your exposure to risk currently, and your goals, making sure you're still on track. And really, we can actually model what does a recession look like in your portfolio? What does the rebound look like? And would you still be on track? Uh, and so that, I think, is the best thing to do, not try and predict it. Hope you're having a great week. We look forward to doing this again next week. Again, remember our webinar coming up on Medicare. Uh, last Thursday in August, August 29th, we're going to talk about Medicare. It's, a, it's not an exciting topic, but it's in a top, it is a topic that affects most everybody that we uh, do business with. So we hope you have a great week. Talk to you then. Well, that was good.